Yo, what's going on guys, back to back, and today we got a brand new video in the stock market on Plug Power. Uh, these guys just had a big day today, they had a massive jump up in price, and are kind of ending the day a little bit lower, but we've seen a couple of these stories coming out, you know, why Plug Power stock jumped today, and this is going to talk about the uh, things that Plug's doing, as well as the main reason, which is this right here wolf research uh one of the analysts on plug initiated a coverage without performance and they rated the stock with a target of 34 dollars which it's around 25 to 30 percent higher than what it was depending on the time of day that you looked at the price um but this is big news for analysts everyone coming out with plug news uh, these guys getting more bullish on plug lots of analysts talking about it But this article as well talks about plug, you know opening more hydrogen plants Which is a good sign, you know that just shows like they're expanding their business. They're ready to take on more business uh, This is plug recently broke ground on what is its fourth green hydrogen plant The company's new Georgia facility will add to its capacity for hydrogen production it would join plants in Tennessee as well as facilities already under construction in South Central Pennsylvania and Western New York. So, plug power getting in four hydrogen plants. We, there's going to be one in Georgia, Tennessee, Pennsylvania, and New York. That is great news. That's amazing to hear. They're going to move forward. They're building their business out. These are fundamental things that are going to help its business long term. And I've always been saying, plug is a stock that I think is. A end of the decade play at least a five-year play uh, minimum because I think by 2030 is more of the time we're gonna see hydrogen start to take off as a fuel source and be able to get start to get integrated all of the infrastructure needs to be built out in order to get hydrogen to even be usable right now so right now it's hard to judge these companies uh, but the majority of this stuff is being based off of future expectations anyways. We can actually look at some of these uh, analyst ratings. This is 18 ratings, and it's 12 buys, 5 holds, and 1 sell. So only 1 sell out of 18 analysts. Uh, that's pretty good. And the average is $41.06, which is 50, almost 53% upside. You can see this is there the low $27, which is basically around where we're at right now, literally 11 cents off of where we're at right now. The average being 41 and the high actually hitting 78. So this is more towards the top of that chart where we saw it kind of run up to very uh, hyperbolic move when there's just a lot of hype around plug and this energy and all this stuff. And then we saw it come crashing down ultimately. But since then, pretty much recovered, finding the bottom and starting to get back into the swing of things. And looking at some of this data here, I think is a, a really good indicator, which is the insider tradings or insider transactions. And seeing massive sell volume with uh, the spike up makes sense with this spike because it was an insane rally from this is just $9 to $65. Like that is ridiculous rally. And it's normal to see people who have been holding a stock or an investment for a long time sell into strength. And that's completely normal profit taking, sell into strength. But we've seen right now where the price came back down and kind of stabilizing. There has been not there's been one there's been three sell transactions total and then 26 buy transactions total so the <clears throat> the buys are getting much more big now just shows like the people insiders uh think that you know the stock is undervalued at its current price uh and that makes a lot of sense especially if you're judging stocks off of insider thing isn't like the only thing to do it's not something that's going to tell you the future but i think it's a good indicator for stocks when the insiders are interested in buying more that just shows they have confidence in the company they have that insider knowledge of where the vision is where the company wants to go how they plan to get there uh and showing that they would rather massively buy than sell right now just tells me that the price is more than likely undervalued. And some of the news things, we see uh, Plug not getting much articles. This uh, 
14 articles last week, five articles this week. Uh, I don't know how much you can write about Plug, but they are building new plants. Uh, they had their earnings uh, earlier last month, so that might have been a bigger reason to have all these articles come out. Even looking at the news sentiment for the last seven days, it's 100% bullish, which is kind of crazy, but uh, good to see. I mean, this is well above sector average, 65%. Uh, I don't know where they're getting this data from, but I'll take 100% bullish all the time. And I guess this is actually where they're getting data from. So this has all the articles, like three bullish, three neutral articles, one bullish, two neutral. So in the last, since August 22nd, there's been no bearish article since August 15th, August 8th. Where is the last bearish article here? Uh, back in June 20th is the last bearish article. Uh, when the price was $34, $29. Uh, so you'd have to go back to June 20th to find any bearish articles on Plug. Uh, there's just a lot of things to be bullish about Plug with. And the one thing from this uh, information is that institutional ownership seems to be trending down a little bit, which could be a bad sign or one of the bad signs if uh, institutional, see, like institutional transactions. So the three-month change is down 2.35%. It's still over 50%. So that's the good benchmark that I like to use is 50% because that's just like institutions have more belief in it. They're going to put more money behind it. Uh, but this trending down isn't, you know, crazy. Uh, it makes sense maybe if they, if they don't want to have money tied up for five to ten years. Maybe this trends down, but I think that, you know, the long term things will be fine and we'll see this tick up a lot in the long term. But even looking at just this chart, I mean, you can see, you know, this big collapse down and now kind of sideways trading, uh, not much going on. And that might be a reason why they're they're finding other places to try and put money uh, and they might just ultimately come back to plug in the future. As well as the shorts data here, this short flow is 9.77%, almost. 10% short, so that could be another contributing factor to trying to push the price down. Um, but ultimately, I don't think that you know it's going to be a huge effect. Shorts can you know try and push the price down uh, short term, but what you can't stifle innovation forever. So if the market wants hydrogen power, that's the big if right now. Uh, that's the only if that it, it, where his plug needs to take off is the want for hydrogen power. And I think we're going to get there. Uh, and if the market wants it, no matter how bad you want to short a company or get rid of a company, if the market wants it, you will be the one who loses if you're shorting. And just ending this video off, looking at Plug's uh, price chart, this is this big parabolic move to $75, and then the dump here. And what's interesting, actually, is we see this trend line uh, that was the upward trend line back when I drew this around this time, when the price was around $25. We bounced off it, as you can see, and then hit $30 and just fell under it. But right now, we actually bounced off $23.63, had a nice bounce, and this line is acting as a resistance right now. So what we want to see is beat through this resistance, which is going up every day. So even if we just continue challenging this line, th that means the price goes up probably until we hit 2830 because that's the next uh, resistance line. But what we want to see is to take over this line and turn this back into support. And then I think we can start talking about getting to $30 again, 34 and trying to move upward. But uh, this is probably going to take a while to try and break through this line and that's not a huge deal you know we've bounced off the 23 we stopped the bleeding here which was massive because as you can see underneath this there's just i don't have anything mapped out and i would say probably 19 dollars would have been the next real like support so good thing we bounced off this getting above this get above this line and turn into support will be very bullish for short term. But that's gonna do it for this video, uh, Plug Power. I like Plug for the long term. I think hydrogen is going to be a big player in the fuel space in the future, and Plug is just the best situated company to take advantage of that. So as always, guys, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe. We're on the road to 1,000 subscribers. See you guys in my next video.